Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to welcome you to another exciting session of my private research project that is about the sense guitar. I am particularly pleased to be able to talk about this work today as my presentations on this endeavor have never been so compact as so close to the end of this research project. I have never been able to talk about so many artifacts at once as I have today and questions will probably never be so versatile. I have prepared the following outline for these presentation sessions. First, I would like to motivate and starting from the state of the art, I would like to ask how can traditional guitar building and modern computer systems be brought together? Why was it necessary to conduct this research? What do we get out of it? The foundation then presents basic concepts that have been required for this research. Which kinds of requirements do we have to satisfy and how was proceeded will be addressed in the next agenda item. Here I clarify what the results of a design science oriented research should look like. Then we come to the presentation of the product or artifact that was created, the so-called sense guitar and its feedback and visualization possibility. Design artifacts. How this was applied in the scenarios holds the next agenda item, which is called demonstration. This is followed by the approach of evaluation using requirements specified in advance in three relevant examples. First, education. Second, production. And third, bands. The final agenda item identifies limitations and addresses the need for further research. Please remark. The topics on the sense guitar are so huge, so I have split up this into several sessions. Let's focus on today's agenda points. Today we are going to focus on the foundation of the sense guitar. Since numerous topics are brought together here, I am going to guide you through these slides topic-wise. Finally, an interim conclusion will be drawn, so that we are ready to go for the next presentation session. I suggest we have many agenda points to conquer. Let's start right away with the initial state and the introduction. What is my personal motivation? Why I have worked on this kind of instrument for more than six years? The answer is just simple and short. I experienced the challenges and hurdles by myself. Let's address the hurdles one by one. First, learning of scales, chords and songs. Where do I have to put my fingers on the fretboard when playing a C major scale? Where to put them when playing a G minor chord? Where and when do I put my fingers on the fretboard when playing a certain song? Here rhythm and time dynamic information needs to be considered. Second, circumstantial cable routing. When starting to use external effect chain devices, quickly, quite a lot of cables are required. When dealing with recording scenarios, even more cables are to be considered. This becomes effortful and circumstantial. From my point of view, if we could standardize this and if there were fixed PCB boards providing the cable routing, cable routing can be improved. In addition, failures and electric inefficiencies are reduced by this. Third, expensive devices. For instance, each external effect device costs around 50 to 200 euros. Usually you use effect boards providing 5 to 20 devices. This thus becomes expensive. From my point of view, if we could provide IT-based effect chains, costs can be saved. Fourth, heavy effect chains. Each defect device has about 150 grams. There are heavy cover boxes. All cables are heavy in addition. The whole system thus can become very heavy. From my point of view, if we could provide IT-based effect chains, kilograms of weight can be saved. Fifth, expensive studio recordings. 
If you book a studio recording session, you will probably pay per hour. It's annoying if you have to redo a session because your recording does not satisfy you. From my point of view, if we can do our own recordings whenever and wherever you want, this will boost your creativity and save a lot of money. Sixth, spontaneous composing. Since creativity is not planable and I assume it's not predictable, best song ideas are spontaneous. Hence, from my point of view, it is essential that the guitar supports your composing by documenting notes, texts and supports recording. Seventh, band sessions. Being on the same side or not, the guitar shall support you at making music with your band. What do I mean by this? There are further musicians that need to be integrated into your recording. As you and your band colleagues are recorded on separate tracks by your guitar, you can replay your creative band session when being at home. You can build on that recording, practice at home and start the next band session at a higher quality level. This will boost your band performance. Eighth, outdoor jamming. When doing a street music session, you probably will have to deal with a microphone, external MP3 devices, effect devices, circumstantial cable routing and an amplifier. The less devices you have to carry and control at this live session, the more lightweight your performance will be. From my point of view, if there was a guitar providing a mixing device, effect chains, cable routing etc., this was Great simplification. Ninth, adaptability. In the one scenario, I would love to do a recording of my own playing. In the other scenario, I would love to integrate further musicians in my live setting. Maybe I would like to record them additionally. In another scenario, I would love to document my composing. Maybe in home sessions, I would like to do homework on scales and chords. Since each scenario demands for individual requirements, from my perspective, it was great if there was one guy guitar that supports numerous scenarios and adapts to my current needs. What is my research motivation? Why have I researched on this kind of instrument for more than six years? The answer is just simple and short from a technical perspective. First, non-digital systems. To my knowledge, electric guitars and string instruments mostly remain on an analogous level for sound, buttons, etc. Only some electric guitars are based on digital sound design. Even fewer guitars can operate on both analog and digital sound bases. Second, non-autonomous systems. To my knowledge, electric guitars or stringed instruments do not act autonomously. There are some IT systems being integrated partly at these instruments for overtaking the one or other task. Examples refer to effect chains, recording apps, MIDI generators, etc. An autonomous guitar system is not set up yet. Here I address responsibility of a guitar in cooperation with the guitarist. Third, non-intelligent systems. Going one step further, guitars are not designed as intelligent systems. And here I build on an intelligence definition that aims to mime human intelligence, including heuristics, etc. Further, an integration of AI, artificial intelligence, would be a roadstopper for traditional guitars. This brings in a completely new set of capabilities we hardly cannot think about yet. At least this is my expectation, although I know that this is far, far away from a musician's everyday life. Fourth, non-feedbacking systems. To my knowledge, electric guitars or stringed instruments do not provide a feedback at all. So I'm going to speak about feedbacking at electric guitars or stringed instruments first. Fifth, non-adapting systems. To my knowledge, electric guitars or stringed instruments do not adapt to a certain scenario at all. If a musician would like to switch a scenario from recording to street music session, the musician has to carry out all adaptions by himself. For instance, this refers to redo cable routing, rebuilding of effect chains, 
set up sound mixes, etc. The answer is also simple and short from a situational perspective. First, inefficient knowledge transfers. Since electric guitars or stringed instruments do not act as cyber-physical system and are limited in their cyber-physical system capabilities, knowledge transfers are inefficient. At least, this is one key point of this presentation I am aiming for. Second, late feedback. To my knowledge, feedback of teachers, band colleagues and producers is only given on-site, sharing the same physical place. Third, low qualitative collaboration. Because of limited cyber-physical system capabilities and the on-site limitation, the electric guitars or stringed instruments are limited as tool. If there were further functionalities, a collaboration could be supported in new ways. Please remark, concepts I'm going to address at this presentation have the power to change the way of collaboration. I'm speaking of technical functionality. This does not mean that all options need to be relevant for the everyday life of musicians, at least for all musicians. We will see if these options affect the everyday life in the long run only. Fourth, little feedback. To my knowledge, the only way of acquiring feedback refers to the virtual sessions having a camera or telephone. I'm going to show that this form of feedback is limited with this presentation. Thus, the research question was the following. How can stringed musical instruments, such as guitars, be made intelligent to enhance knowledge transfer? Although shown with the example of guitars, the following accounts for any stringed instrument. Which kind of technical basis needs to be considered by setting up this new kind of guitar? Let's come to the foundation of guitar building. How do traditional electric guitars look like and how is sound created here? Typically, there is a wooden fretboard which is used for physical tone generation. By fingertips, the string length is shortened so that the guitarist is enabled to modify the tone frequency. By string attacks, the amplitude is modified. Recent innovative designs provide here LEDs per bar. Some are even pressable. Others cover the fretboard by sensitive material so that one can recognize the fingertip position. However, visualization and touch possibilities are still limited. Typically, there is a wooden guitar body which supports resonance and tone generation. Recent innovative guitar designs are built on 3D printing. These use, for instance, printable wood material. Others even provide non-wood materials such as glass, plastic and steel. However, the guitar bodies integrating capacitive touch displays are rare. There is not any guitar that enables its use as open source so that you can build your own applications. Typically, there are magnetic pickups, sometimes even piezoelectric pickups, which are used for analog tone generation. Recent innovative guitar designs provide a MIDI signal generation out of standard guitar signals. However, the mighty and ultra-fast digital sound processing on the basis of FPGAs is not considered by any guitar, at least to my knowledge. This is interesting in guitar context because of ultra-low latencies. Typically, there are switches and buttons which support the analog manipulation of analog audio signals. Recent innovative guitar designs provide digital buttons. Some provide standard effects, others digitize sound signals. However, the mighty and flexible configuration of sound outputs and flexible controlling is not supported. Of course, I do not have to mention the open source character that we intend to realize with this campaign. 
and will enable anybody to do individual implementations, which is awesome from my point of view. Typically, there is a mono audio jack, which provides the analog electric signal of the guitar. However, the mighty routing of any kind of signals, MP3, recordings, individual guitar signals, string-wise, pickup-wise, etc. are not supported. A further kind of technical basis which needs to be considered by setting up this new kind of guitar refers to the concept of cyber-physical systems. Let's clarify the foundation of cyber-physical systems. In this research project, architectural components of cyber-physical systems have to be considered. Each component is addressed in the following separately. First, sensors. By different kinds of sensors, the cyber-physical system perceives its environment. At the environment, one can find any kind of situational aspect of the cyber-physical system, such as the guitarist. Thus, the sense guitar needs to recognize the guitarist activities, for instance. Here, one can find fingertips on the fretboard, menu hits by the guitarist, string attacks, etc. Second, processors. The cyber-physical system processes information perceived via sensors and provides intelligence. Third, actuators. By different kind of actuators, the cyber-physical system intends to manipulate its environment. For instance, the sense guitar provides feedback to the musician. Since the actuator environment sensor processor cycle refers to a closed cycle that manifests over time, the cyber-physical system is enabled to interact with its environment, to manipulate it. Fourth, communicators. By communicators, the cyber-physical system is enabled to realize dialogues and exchange information with any kind of further entities. For instance, here we can find further cyber-physical system communication partners, band colleagues, teachers and producers. Faced with the recent technical trends, the cyber-physical system design is particularly attractive. The Internet of Things provides a technical environment that supports the data and information exchange among IoT devices. The Digital Twins concept supports the creation of a digital representative of any form of device. This includes guitars as well as its sub-components and mechanics. The 5G networks support a fast data and information exchange, so that latencies can be reduced. This is particularly essential at making music. Since computing power has increased drastically in recent times, the fast and efficient processing is supported. So latencies can be reduced, which is particularly essential at making music. Further, price per computing power has reduced and storage capacities have increased, supporting this in addition. The following intends to show how these cyber-physical system architecture components have been considered by the Sense Guitar and why these are the basis for the autonomous actioning of the sense guitar. Since knowledge transfers shall be improved with the aid of the sense guitar, let's come to the foundation of knowledge transfers. In this research project, knowledge of three different categories has been considered. Of course, these categories and items per category do not claim for completeness, which is indicated by the dots. Each category is addressed in the following separately. First, instrument-related knowledge, such as, for instance, 1. Instruments mechanics, like these, like these. Where are the instrument components positioned that affect the tone generation? Second, 6. Strings. How many strings does my instrument have 
and where are they located? 3. Thread positions. Where are the threads positioned? Is there a certain thread structure? Coming from different geographical places, different thread positions can be applied. 4. How is currently each string tuned? There are songs for which one modifies standard tuning, just for this song. The second category, human-related knowledge, such as, for instance, 5. Biological anatomy. Is a human playing the guitar having two arms, ten fingers? 6. Individual body. Has the individual all ten fingers? Maybe one finger is missing. Am I left-handed? Am I right-handed? 7. The individual gusto. Are there individual preferences, competence levels or gusto for the one or other fingertip? For example, a beginner will be happy to take notes on lower bars because it is uncomfortable in higher bars positions. Third, music related knowledge such as, for instance, 8. Scales formation rule. How is the current scales formation rule which is essential for attractive next notes? 9. What is the current harmonic context, which is essential for the correct chord identification? 10. What is the current timing information of a song, which is essential for attacking a next note? 11. What is the song's current time step, which is essential to identify the next note to be tapped? With the following slides, I aim to show how these relevant knowledge categories have been considered by the Sense Guitar. In this research project, we consider three different forms of knowledge. First, tacit knowledge. This form of knowledge is characterized by the anchoring of knowledge in an individual's head. Hence, this is hard to access. For instance, a musician exactly know how to play a certain song. I labeled this example with act of making music. It's very hard to make it accessible because this knowledge is interwoven in the musician's head. Hence, often musicians, teachers and producers use metaphors to clarify their interpretation of a certain song. Second, explicit knowledge. This form of knowledge is characterized by its easy handling because it's unbound to an individual's head. For instance, knowledge of a musician about a song has been documented. Imagine a sheet of music which can be passed from musician to musician. By reading this sheet of music, any musician is able to at least tip the same notes on the guitar. Third, embodied knowledge. This form of knowledge is characterized by its physical manifestation. It's bound to a physical object so that the one or other expert can extract the same knowledge from it. For instance, imagine a certain curve on a guitar body which supports the efficient accessing of a display. You remark the functioning of that body by using the guitar, although you not necessarily need to understand the reasons behind of this. Another example refers to formation rule sets of scales. You remark the nice sound of a certain song without necessarily even recognizing a certain scale behind it. Although you transpose the song to a different harmonic center, the formation rule set remains the same. The following builds on the definition of these three forms of knowledge. Considering the three different kinds of knowledge forms, as both origin and target, we can identify nine different kinds of knowledge transfers. Each is clarified in the following. Please remark here, I first address basic knowledge transfers highlighted in green, then I address more complex knowledge transfers highlighted in yellow. Internalization. An explicit knowledge carrier, let's call it origin, is perceived by a knowledge carrier, let's call it 
target so that the target integrates perceived knowledge with its individual knowledge base. An example refers to a person studying a sheet of music about a famous song. As knowledge about harmonics is enriched, e.g. by mental models and personal experiences, new knowledge is constructed at the target carrier. Since traditional guitars do not provide information about scales, chords, etc., internalizations are not supported by guitars yet. Extraction Embodied knowledge origin, is perceived by a knowledge carrier target, so that the target recognizes knowledge by interpretation and integrates it with its individual knowledge base. For instance, the formation rule is recognized by studying scale examples. If a person recognizes the formation rule set, person-bound tacit knowledge is created. Since the traditional guitars do not provide music sheets, scales, chords, etc., extractions are not supported by guitars yet. Socialization Knowledge carrier-bound tacit knowledge is transferred among knowledge carriers through interactive data and information exchange. For example, two persons are speaking about how to modify an instrument's sound. Here, each person functions as both origin and target. Because of their interaction, knowledge is integrated with their individual knowledge bases. Since traditional guitars do not support conversation, dialogues, human interactions, etc., socializations are not supported by guitars yet. Externalization. Knowledge carrier bound tacit knowledge, let's call it origin, is explicated so that the knowledge carrier unbound explicit form of knowledge is created, target. This can be transmitted easily. For instance, when a person writes a book, its tacit knowledge is made explicit so that the book can be easily passed among people. Since traditional guitars do not support the creation of musical sheets, the notation of scales and chords, etc., externalizations are not supported by guitars yet. Engineering. Knowledge carrier-bound tacit knowledge is applied in a task to embody knowledge at a physical object. For instance, a person composes a musical piece. Here, tacit knowledge about the act of making music and being creative are applied to the sheet of music. Since traditional guitars do not support composing activities, etc., engineering in a musical sense are not supported by guitars yet. Codification Embodied knowledge origin, is perceived by a knowledge carrier and transferred to an explicit form of knowledge target. For instance, if a person recognizes the formation rule set on the basis of a song scale extraction and the rule set is written down to a book externalization, the description holds the codified knowledge about the formation rule set. Since the traditional guitars do not support extraction and externalization, codification are not supported by guitars yet. Combination Explicit knowledge origin is perceived by a knowledge carrier and conversed to a new explicit knowledge target. For instance, an evaluation of a guitarist's composing shall be realized on the basis of a scale. Here, Explicit knowledge forms of the sheet of music about the composing and formation rule set are combined into the explicit form of a failure report. Since traditional guitars do not provide feedback on music sheets, scales, chords, finger tapping, etc., combinations are not supported by guitars yet. Decodification Explicit knowledge, origin, is perceived by a knowledge carrier and transferred by engineering activities into an object embodying knowledge target. For instance, if a person studies the composing of a musician, that's an internalization, 
and comes up with a modification idea because of attractive nodes of a scale. Engineering. The node change constructed holds the decodified knowledge about the formation rule set. Since traditional details do not support internalization and engineering, decodifications are not supported by GITAS yet. Transformation. Embodied knowledge, or origin, is modified by a knowledge carrier so that a new object manifests embodying knowledge. Target. For instance, a sheet of music is transformed from one scale to another. If both sheets of music satisfy the same formation rule set, both of its sheet examples would lead to the same rule set description. Codification result. Since traditional guitars do not support transposition live, transformations are not supported by guitars yet. Okay, let's come to an interim conclusion. Having faced nine kinds of knowledge transfers in typical guitar situations, one can recognize the following. Traditionally, the guitar does not support knowledge transfers well. At least, this accounts for the nine kinds of transfers addressed and the standard electric guitar considered. Since you now know the concept of knowledge transfers, let's face the traditional design of guitar usage. For this, at this slide we can find a generalization of a process which shows how traditional guitars are used in typical knowledge transfer situations. As it is abstracted, it shall represent the guitar usage at different scenarios. The process consists of the green process steps. Let's focus on the first common scenario. The musician gets guitar lessons once a week. Here, the teacher and the musician cooperate on site. Typically, the teacher presents exercises at a first collaborative session. This one. In individual practicing sessions, the musician then does homework on the exercises discussed with the teacher. Please remark, if the musician does something wrong, incorrect patterns are reinforced. From my point of view, regrettably, there is no chance for an interim feedback. Having a next session with the teacher, here, the exercise is faced in a collaborative session. Here, the feedback is generated by the teacher for improving the musician's guitar playing. Hopefully, this intervention is useful in order to correct inefficient patterns that had been reinforced during the previous week. This cycle is repeated. As many weeks as the desired output has been realized. Okay, having faced the education scenario and its knowledge transfer situations, one can recognize the following. Traditionally, the guitar is considered as a passive, tangible resource object only. Let's focus on a second common scenario. The musician gets paid sessions at a recording studio. Here, the producer and the musician cooperate on site. Typically, the producer does recordings in a first session. Here. If it is not satisfying, the need for optimization is discussed. In individual practicing sessions, here, the musician then does homework on the optimization discussed with the producer. Please remark, if the musician carries out a change which does not improve inefficiencies, incorrect patterns are reinforced. From my point of view, regrettably, there is no chance for an interim feedback. Having a next expensive session with the producer, here, the recording is repeated in a collaborative session. Here, again, a feedback is generated by the producer for improving the musician's guitar playing. 
Hopefully, this feedback is useful in order to correct inefficient patterns that have been reinforced during the previous practicing session. However, the expensive recording has to be redone. This cycle is repeated as many sessions as the desired output has been recorded. This is indicated by this loop. Okay, having faced the production scenario and its knowledge transfer situations, one can recognize the following. Traditionally, the GITA is considered as a passive, tangible resource object only. Let's focus on a third common scenario. The musician gets band's lessons on a once a week. Here, the band members and the musician cooperate on site. Typically, the band carries out a first jamming session. Here. If this is not satisfying, the need for further optimization is discussed. In individual practicing sessions, the guitarist then does homework on the optimizations discussed with the band. Here. Please remark, if the musician carries out a change which does not improve inefficiencies, incorrect patterns are reinforced. From my point of view, regrettably, there's no chance for an interim feedback. Having a next session with a band, here, The song is repeated in a collaborative session. Here, again a feedback is generated by the band for improving the musician's guitar playing. Hopefully, this feedback is useful in order to correct inefficient patterns that have been reinforced during the previous practicing session. This cycle is repeated as many sessions as the desired output has been realized and the band is happy. This is indicated by this cycle. Okay, having faced the band scenario and its knowledge transfer situations, one can recognize the following. Traditionally, the guitar is considered as a passive tangible resource object only. Okay, let's come to an interim conclusion. Having faced three different kinds of traditional knowledge transfer situations in guitar context, one can recognize the following. Traditionally, the guitar is considered as a passive, tangible resource object only. At least, this accounts for the three scenarios addressed and the standard electric guitar considered. Let's conclude the foundation of the sense guitar. As a summary, with this session, we have created the foundation for constructing the sense guitar. We have clarified traditional guitar building, which shall be enhanced. We have clarified the concept of cyber-physical systems for enabling the sense guitar. We have focused on knowledge transfer that needs to be considered by the sense guitar in order to generate feedback. We have clarified the concept of knowledge transfers that are to improve by the sense guitar. Finally, we have focused on abstracted process design to generalize scenarios and associate knowledge transfers. So we are best prepared for building on this. Okay, so much about the new topic for today. Since I assume you are happy to have a break before we deepen them thematically here, we will end today's session. So you have a chance to think about stuff you have seen and you are fresh for more challenging topics in the next session. Details on the next session you can see at the slide. Hopefully we meet there again. So much from my side today. I thank you for your attention and I'm glad about every email and every exchange about the Sense Guitar, be it research projects, becoming part of the open source development team, consulting projects in the economy. Just ask or write an email. Those who would like to learn more about the concept of sensitive instruments, such as the Sense Guitar, I invite to have a look on the website 
to Blitzed public repository, where you will find the hyperlinks to the respective, re respective references, tutorials, courses or written work. Also, further examples can be found here, so that an artifact zoo can be built simply find new start with the Sense Guitar, for instance.